a little bird tells you that a big fish swam up and spit out onto the shore a bunch of men and animals and they came up and killed everybody in the camp and then the men went back and the fish swallowed them back up and then swam away. Would you believe the bird? You're a young person just hanging around, not doing anything much. You're in your late teens and uh, you hear stories that uh, there may be some uh, sort of conflict brewing. And what rolls into your town is a uh, large cart with a bunch of uh, armed men. They grab you and all the other uh, older teens and throw them in the back of the cart and ship you off uh, to a place that you've never been. They ship you they, to prepare for the coming battle to fight the enemy that's going to invade. And they, you end up uh, being loaded from the cart into a ship and then to, uh, transported down to a place called the Tip of Pinge on the peninsula of Pinge, and you're shipped off to a place called Manther. And you're uh, 20 miles from just about anywhere. You're out in the middle of the woods, and uh, you don't know what to do. And uh, it says you're being trained for a coming battle uh, against the anointed army of the royal king uh, of the Marazar. They're going to invade again, and they're preparing you for the battle. The Marazar are known to wear red and blue, and you're being given the green of uh, the country of Greth to fight and defend your country against the coming invaders. And your camp is a small camp, just a barracks and a, and a cook hut out in the middle of the woods, and... Uh, not much going on there. It's this, your drill sergeant, known as Old Scarface. He's got a big scar across his face, and he's training you uh, how to do things. And it's uh, beast barracks, as the phrase goes. You're stuffed uh, into small rooms with a bunch of you, and all you have is a small footlocker to to store your equipment. And every day, it's more and more training to prepare for the coming invasion. And uh, the food is okay. It's, there, there's plenty of it, but it's sort of tasteless, no spices, and not like home. And then you're stuffed out on guard duty one night, uh, just watching out in the woods. And then they leave you there for the whole night passes nothing happens no one comes to feed you in the morning no one comes to relieve you in the morning and uh, you eventually get curious and you see birds circling the camp up in the air and you come in and there's a murder of crows all about the camp so you uh, decide to talk to one of them and uh, you, f the, you find that there's a large amount of food and what the crows are feasting on are the dead bodies of everybody who was left in the camp. And the crows are all excited about the food and you ask them what happened and they said a big fish swam up to the, uh, to the shore and uh, belched out a bunch of uh, other men and they came down and some big beasts and they slaughtered everyone here and the crows are all excited about the food the food the food and they're just gorging themselves on the dead bodies so the birds fly away and you're left that kept manther and you see just dead bodies and the skins of the bodies are tacked to the wall and you see the skin 
of old Scarface, who was the drill sergeant tacked to the wall. You recognize it from the scar on the face and on the body. So where do you go? You know to the west is the ocean, to the north, many miles away, is uh, an elven village, and to the, the road to the east goes east and then turns south to Altopa. So the party heads south to Altopa, and they come out, and instead of seeing the uh, what they ex what you would normally expect around the gold mines at the edge of Altopa, they thought they see soldiers of the Marazar. This is not the anointed army of the Marazar. This is a different army of the Marazar. Instead of red, wearing red and blue, they're wearing dark gray and black and they're guarding the mines so the party decides to try and attack and they come down and the first gold mine they they attract the attention of the uh guards at the mine who are now soldiers and they drag the they get them to follow them into the woods and they manage to kill one of them before the one retreats and runs back to the other mine and the soldiers blow their whistles and the from the one mine to the next mine to the next mine they blow their whistles warning that something is happening and then a large beast you've never seen before with two riders uh, on it comes charging up the way. At this point, the party retreats into the woods, and that's the end of the adventure. If you like my video, press the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Or if uh, this interests you, you can always subscribe to my channel. There's a button right above. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments. Tell me what you think about this, and I'll... Uh, uh, try and reply and uh, we can see if I'll do some more of these. Thank you.